Hello again. This is my 2016 Kia Soul. I have just under 60,000 miles on it. And so far, it's, it's been a good car. I mean, I haven't had any real issues with it. It's not my dream car, but it's paid for for years now. And uh, I'm more than satisfied. Uh, so what kind of silliness am I getting into today? I need to remove the rear bumper cover. And why do I need to remove it? It's because I had a senior moment and I backed into my utility trailer and I scratched this bumper cover and cracked the paint. And after I looked at the cost of buying the materials and trying to repair this myself, it just didn't make sense. I want something that's going to hold up over time and Actually, I lucked out, I guess, in some sense, because I didn't hit the metal. That would have been extremely painful for me. So what I did was I purchased a new cover off eBay. Took it to a local paint shop. Had them prep and paint the bumper cover. So well, that's my silly task for today. Am I looking forward to this? Absolutely not. And I'm not going to show every minute of the removal. I'll show the highlights for two reasons. It'll be boring. And this camera, which is a Kodak Easy Shear Z5120, it absolutely positively devours batteries and I'm not sure why. First I'll get this up by my shop. I got to take the wheels off. I got to take the mud flaps off and I'll try to show key moments on the removal process. So hang in there. Okay the uh, car's up at my shop. I did use my pneumatic jack, which I really do like. I jacked up the entire back of the car at the trailer hitch. I have a jack stand here, jack stand there, front wheels are chocked. Let me get these wheels off and I'll remove the uh, mud flaps. Okay, the tires have been removed. The mud flaps have been removed and the mud flaps are secured to the car with two screws and a plastic uh, retainer at the bottom. Okay? Pretty easy to take these off. And there are the two mud flaps and the tools I used. Uh, the next thing to be removed are the tail lights, and there are four screws, one, two, three, and four, and they have been removed from each tail light. And these just basically unplug from the car body. and unplug the harness. Okay, we're going to try something here a little different, I guess. Uh, because I have a trailer hitch on the car, I've got this module for the trailer lights and so forth and so on. So instead of cutting these wires, I'm just going to rotate this taillight assembly inside the car and let it just sit there and I'm hoping that will eliminate a lot of repair. Now, unfortunately on this side, I did cut the wire, so that'll mean I have to repair one wire instead of a whole bunch of wire. 
So now I start to remove the actual hardware that secures the bumper cover to the car. Up under the uh, wheel well, this inner liner, there's one screw here that needs to be removed and it looks like another screw that actually secures the bumper cover to the car. So I'll remove those from both sides now. Next you need to remove these two uh, plastic retainers. There's one here. And there's one here. I don't know if I can do this one handed or not, but we'll give it a try. These tools come in really handy. Well, there's one. I'll come back and get that one. And this one here. That one's released. I'll remove those. And then there were uh, four screws that need to be removed from the underside of the uh, bumper cover assembly. Okay, I found the four screws they were talking about. Um, and unfortunately, I do have a trail hitch so it obscures it a little bit. But uh, here's the uh, wheel well on the right side of the car and there's one of the bolts and then there's a, another bolt up on the inside. So I'll take those off on both sides of the car and we shall proceed. Okay, <clears throat> the bumper has been removed and as I said at the beginning, I did not enjoy this at all some here's of course this is upside down now but these are the four screws I had to remove from the underside and there's this pin that engages the frame of the car right here so as you unclip the bumper from the side of the car and I'm sorry I didn't show that but there's only one of me and I was busy uh, once you get the sides of the bumper cover unclipped you need to slide these pins or disengage them from the frame of the car and of course there's one on either side and I couldn't figure out why the bumper wasn't coming I couldn't lift up well these were these are like three and a half inches long so you have to literally slide the bumper away from the car obviously this is here just for ease of manufacturing when they put this thing together they just slide it on there and put the bolt in and go and my trailer hitch made it infinitely more difficult to get at these bolts right here very difficult and uh, they're 14 millimeter by the way so I'm gonna go and remove this outer shell and uh, install a new one Let's see here, it's just screws. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like five screws that need to come out. So we'll see how this goes. One thing I forgot to mention was uh, this tail light uh, harness. It attaches right there and it mates up with this harness here from the car. And here's the release right here for it. And again, doing this all by yourself, it's difficult. Onward. I lied to you. I said there's five screws. There's actually seven. There's a screw there that needs to be removed. And another screw there that needs to be removed. So, seven screws in total. So there's the old. And there's the new. Let's get this thing back together. Okay, the uh, replacement panel has been installed. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just be careful uh, when you're 
trying to get these pins aligned to get the new part on. Make sure that these plastic pieces here are going up into the hole and not the outside. I ran into trouble back up there on this pin. This plastic piece here I didn't realize was trying was not coming up in this hole. And while I'm right here, I did remove that screw, but I have no idea what it's for. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I'm going to get this bumper back on the car. <coughs> well, there we go. Uh, significant progress. Bumper's been reinstalled. No extra fasteners. No uh, coming up short on fasteners. So my brain fart has been eliminated. Hopefully I don't do that again. And I will try to include the written instructions from Kia. I will try to do that. Well, it's back the other, and it's time to put them back on the ground. I do like this jack. Neighbor just broke his uh, brush hog. Well, there he is, all reassembled. Doesn't look too bad. Looks a lot better without that wrinkle on the plastic. The old man just needs to slow down and think about what he's doing. Thanks again for taking the time to watch my video and have a nice day.